<laughs> Shit. Whoops. All tangled up. Okay. There. Jeez. Been digging through a damn snowstorm today. It's ridiculous. Okay, hold on, hold on. See, so if the power goes out at any point here, <laughs> it's due to the storm. I think the storm's fucked off a bit, though, so... It might be a little bit, uh... Okay here. Uh, but yeah, gonna be playing... Hogwarts Legacy today. Actually, oh, I need to... I have a game installing. I need to pause the installation while I'm streaming. Just in case. But, yeah. Gonna be probably playing it... I'm gonna aim for like four hours, so... Hold on. Pause. I got... Uh, Mass Effect 2 installed yesterday. So, that's... I'll start it at some point. I don't know like when exactly I will start it, but... Yeah, hold on. Okay. Uh, all right. I don't know anything about this game. I've not seen it. Like, I, I held off on watching any, like, uh, gameplay or anything, so. Whole thing should be new, I guess. I think the one game, though, that's new, that I, this Atomic Heart, I really, do, it does not, I don't know. It's not uh, catching my eye here. But, wait, let me, okay, it's playing, <laughs> it's making noise. Um, but yeah, yesterday I got really close to, I'm on like the last level for Force Unleashed 2. It's like the shortest game I ever played. Uh, so that's, I'll probably knock that out. Uh, I don't know, maybe Saturday perhaps? Like that'll be gone. Dead Space is getting close. Uh, oh, I'll be able to play Hi-Fi Hi Rush again, so that'll be a, a thing. But yeah, today's just strictly going to be Hogwarts Legacy. And I better get in Slytherin, bro. <laughs> That's like, I took that dumb test like years ago, and it put me in Slytherin, so. That's what I go with, I guess. Here we go. Let's do it, bro. Alright, showing up. Okay. Oh, this better not have music. It's gonna get my Twitch VOD muted. I'm not gonna be happy about that. Menu reader. On. What? Press left trigger to toggle. What? What in the world is this? Press left trigger. Accessibility options. Toggle spell cast mode. <laughs> Certain spells toggle aim mode. Wow, dude, how inclusive. Colorblind mode. Menu reader volume. Camera shake. Menu reader volume. <laughs> toggle spell cast Wait, mode. you can play this game when you're blind? Mod. That's kind of weird. Cursor set audio. Oh my God. transparency. Switch. <laughs> I'm turning that off. <laughs> Is there... Motion blur. Left-handed? What the hell? How would you play left-handed with the controller? I've never seen that in a game. Do they just turn the right stick to, I guess, the motion stick? That's really weird. I would assume people that are left-handed just play it normally. Camera dead zone. What is all this stuff? Cursor sensitivity? What in the world? I'm looking for motion blur. Uh... Tech size normal. Wait, what's... What does large look like? Mm, I, I, I'll, I'll just go normal. It's fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> How do we get out of here? Continue. What do we got? Fidelity, high fidelity rendering mode. Favoring resolution and graphical quality. Performance. High frame rate. Uh, I assume you can swap this at, like, any point or whatever. I'll just go with fidelity, I guess. Or, no, I'll go performance because I'm streaming. I mean, ah, whatever. I'm, go I'm going fidelity, whatever. <laughs> oh, God. Man, getting into Hogwarts is a fucking hassle. What is this? 
I get an owl mask. Wow. Skip, dude. It's fine. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and there's auto saves. That's good. Uh, go a little brighter. That's fine. Oh, look, here's my letter. We are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and, Wich wi yeah, Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. What? Was I homeschooled the other four years? Term begins September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. Oh, I don't get to go to Diagon, Al Diagon Alley. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliezer Fig to help you <laughs> hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Professor Weasley? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Why am I a special student? Am I a rich kid? Do I know somebody? Ooh, look at here. Ah, uh, the, the menu's kind of annoying, I will say. Uh, none of these look like me. <laughs> I'll go with the generic white guy. What the heck? Oh, he's a face shape. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I'll just go with that kid, I guess. <laughs> I need glasses, dude. Not Harry Potter glasses. I'll go with that kid. Nice freckles, kid. Uh, oh, here. Let's see. Where's, like, scraggly fucking... <laughs> I need like moppy ass long hair. This is like a girl's haircut. I can't use that. I can't. I'll use this. <laughs> there. <laughs> I'll go with that one. How do I change this? The menu's weird. I don't know if I like this cursor thing. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> White hair. It's like that color. <laughs> Close enough. What's this now? Oh. Look at my epic scar, dude. <laughs> I was attacked by a werewolf or something. What is this? Burn marks or something. Uh, I, The eyebrow's fine, dude. What's my eye color? It's like, it's kind of like that, actually. Not that, though. It's like a gray-blue color. Like, that. That's what color my <laughs> eyes are. <laughs> Eyebrow color. What the hell? What is this? Okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. <laughs> I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Sounds like a robot. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. What the hell? He's like a robot. That was quite something. <laughs> a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Does he actually? Talk... I am. That was quite something. Why does he sound like a robot? He sounds like a TT, like a text-to-speech thing. It's very strange. A few cobwebs and some dust. Let's go with that. Nothing I guess. to be concerned about. Normal. Wait, oh. <laughs> Tyler. Tyler, and then... I'm not putting my real last name. <laughs> oh, we'll be a... Hmm. Let's see, let's see. I need, like, a Harry Potter last name. Wait, 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 hold on. Doing a different first name here. 
Let's do... Hmm. Eni I know, I know. We'll do Enus. No, 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 no. Hold on. Can I do Shafid? Yes! Here we go, here we go. Shathid Wigglesnarf. <laughs> yeah! Alright, that actually worked. Let's start my journey, dude. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what, Wigglesnarf can't have it? Jeez. Uh... Bertram. There. Will that fly? Jeez. <laughs> Why can't I do Shathid, man? Alright. That's a big ass owl, dude. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a <laughs> bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, it sounds like a robot. Sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned. I got a hand-me-down wand. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eliazar. George. George. Osric. Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your fun. Am I just like an asshole? I've operated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> what the it's fuck? It's much too long. When I received your owl, I must Did say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but I guess. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. This guy's shady. What's he doing? <laughs> this guy's got. Oh look, it's magic. <laughs> awesome, dude. Look, some weird activities going on. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> that looked weird. I already forgot my character's name. He looks like the guy from uh, a very Potter musical. <laughs> That's who he looks like. You better not get my VOD muted. You better not get my VOD muted. <laughs> Doing a good job of staying on. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. Hey, what's new? my lore here? Why am I just yes, starting sir. as a fifth year? I'm starting school as a fifth year. Why? An extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Mm. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Damn, it's bright. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkable <laughs> like, oh, gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Mm, a little bit, a little bit of social Have climbing, eh? This. What is it? Goblin Rebellion. Truth, truth or gobbledygook? Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Hmm. 
Although I've yet to convince my colleagues that the Whoa, ministry, what the fuck is I that? He is a significant it's like a dragon or something. And it was your wife, Eliazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her. It's like aunt, a Chinese finger trap. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. Give it to me. Let me, try. Try. Oh, <laughs> Let me try. Let me try. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. She, let me try. Nor do I. I know parcel tongue, dude. I can speak to snakes. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? See, he told you, give it to me. We did. Holy shit! Whoa, dude! Whoa! <laughs> I forgot what those things are called, but we're allowed to see them now because we saw the guy die. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Damn, dude, that was like in Game of Thrones. <laughs> that was like when that kid got chomped in Game of Thrones. That was crazy. <laughs> I forgot what those horse things are called, though. Are you right? You're hurt. Oh. Perhaps a bit. God, I sound like a robot. So Take weird. This. It's Wigan World potion. Oh. That stuff will write you in I, a dude. I remember Wigan Wild Potion from playing that like Harry Potter PS1 game. The Wiggy Wild West Potion. Okay, down his heel. Nice. What happened? Sounds like oh, George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never... Can I move or do I sit there like a weirdo? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. Oh, it's not inverted. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Okay. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. Taylor, what's up? What's up? I just started like 10 minutes ago. It's Bertram Wigglesnarf, new student at Hogwarts. Well, I don't think that guy... Uh, I don't think that dude, like, could have... Um, when he got chomped by the dragon, he, like, legitimately got eaten. I don't think he could, like, later on show up and be like, Oh, actually, he didn't die because we then saw the horses. Man, it's bright out here. Professor Fig, where are we? Whoa. How far did that port key go? Jeez, dude, this looks nuts. Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those roads. Oh, that's great, because I can't the understand port Scottish people. To lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Sure, dude. Let's see if we can find a This place path, is crazy looking. However faded it may be.
cool. Okay. Wait. Professor Pig and I have traveled via port key to a remote cliffside. Scottish Highlands, we need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the port key was meant to lead us to. Do I just press it again to get it away? Okay, I do. I have a hard time understanding Scottish people, so this might not be a good place to be. Game looks nuts, though, honestly. Do I jump? Oh, okay, I can. Where do you suppose your wife got the port I still sound like a robot, though. I don't know why. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Death magic or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm gonna jump, Professor Fig. Wait, can I actually jump? Wait, I think I actually can. Oh, no, I can't. This is like the wind I had to deal with today. Fuck me. She was a nightmare. This game looks really good, though. Ancient magic. Yeah, yes, Bertram. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Professor, I think I lost my wand. I can't use it. I can't pull it out. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. Right. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. Oh, God. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, that's the path down below. This way. You need to pluck some weeds, dude. There's like dandelions around here. What the hell? <laughs> He's like. But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Why? Spoke of the good it could do. Oh. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Hmm, okay. <laughs> this seems very it's odd, sir. Ice. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. You don't say. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Let me do it. I opened the other thing. I'll do it. Center. Okay, so tap right trigger to perform basic cast. Oh. <laughs> nice fucking charm. I'm like, I haven't even gone to Hogwarts. I can break their goddamn wall already. Three hits like it was nothing. Excellent. You like that, Professor? Okay, use your camera to select uh, an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling the cam. Oh. Okay. I guess that becomes a problem. Later, I can just turn it off, I guess. Ow! <laughs> I'm gonna hit a bird. No, the bird. Jeez, kid, come on. Can I lift it? Accio Repero. Whoa. <laughs> Professor, there's a booby trap. <laughs> that was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Is there something, like... I suppose these are here that I can just, like, spam it for funds. <laughs> there's nothing falling out. With every cast. Thank you. Thank you, sir. See? I do be a based wizard. Watch this, Professor. Okay. Professor, I think there's bird shit all over. Oh. I guess I can't stop you now. I don't see any, like, uh. Little things to pick up yet. Ooh, maybe. Wait. Did he go that way? I'm going this way. Professor, I'm exploring. Hey, look, I knew it. 31 bucks, Professor. It's mine. I'm not even telling him I found it. 31 Scottish gold doubloons. Oh, I can't go down there. Sweet. Or galleons, excuse We're me. Close now. It's just ahead. God, why would they build that out there? It's like a church or something. I think. Steady yourself. 
What are we doing? Repero! Oh, I tried to do that. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, this game's graphics are nuts. They're very good, they're very good. This is exactly the kind of wind we had around here today. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, Fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought, oh, never mind. I thought I could go. I thought it was a little hill. What are we doing, Professor? Admiring the scenery? Oh, could be a puzzle. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. What, like this guy? How do I run exactly? Oh wait, okay, the mini-map shows your surroundings with, okay, I'm the triangle. Objective is the yellow thing. Press and hold up to toggle quest. Okay. Easy enough. Look, see, this is some weird stuff. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. What makes you say that? Hang on, there could be. Nah. I hope this game doesn't have like a, uh, like, oh, completed on, you know, hard difficulty or whatever, because it'd be cool to 100% this game. I hate the ones that are like that. It's like completed on hard, completed on ultra hard. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. It's playing like a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh or something. It's like a star seer, man. What are you doing? Get off me. Yeah, look, they're like, uh... Talking about, like, uh... <laughs> star signs and stuff. How do we get past this thing? Whoops, sorry. Can I climb it? Nope, I gotta find, find a way around. There we go, there we go. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? God, he sounds so weird. Like, he sounds like he's breaking up in a Skype call or something, like his uh, internet's laggy or something like that. It's speaking weird things to me. What's this? Professor Fig. I can see myself. Do I just walk through? Oh, here he comes. Yikes. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? It's like a free mansion what or something. Room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Don't touch it. Merlin's name. You don't know what it does. Wake the goblin. Godric's heart. Oh, it. Where are we? I don't believe it. Cool. like a teleporting wall. Wake up, you lazy bastard. Hello? I think we're in green gots or something. <laughs> what the fuck? Guys got creepy eyes. 
just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <clears throat> they must know me. I'm like the boy who lived or something, probably. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Nice. Vault number 12, I presume. Precisely. The key. <laughs> Bill White's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Okay. Stay close. What the hell? It's just like the movies. After you. Uh, keep your hands inside the car if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I am really liking this game. It's pretty good so far. I haven't done a damn thing, really, but. Whoa! Oh, maybe we'll see that dragon. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. This As looks we cool. Speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> you'll want to take a breath. A what? That Whoa. waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Wow. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Oh my god. I'm gonna puke. Oh, i had been fine to ride the whole way. That was, it looks cool. Who's this dickhead? Vault number. Vault 12. He's got red eyes. He's high. To stay. <laughs> hmm. On you, wine. I'm hearing whispers back there. Something strange back there. Or he's. Eh, he's pretty strange. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Oh, I didn't notice that. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, also, didn't notice that? that. We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Must be something good in here. <laughs> it's got its own thing. All right. I can't move. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Yeah, this game looks really good. Wait. Hey, look, a free chest. Why is this in the bank? Oh, come on. <laughs> Bolt 12. Thank you for your help. Look, stalactites growing in here. Now I can get it. No, I just took somebody's money. He was watching, too. He doesn't care. Why was that? Why is that there? It's weird that there's just like a loose chest in a bank. What do you suppose we should be looking for? Uh, I'm not sure. A Dorian. Sir, I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. What the fuck? It was a trap. 
<laughs> it was a goblin Professor, trap. That was certainly unexpected. Oh, it could be a puzzle, actually. Let me think. There must be something here. The wall, the wall. Mm, Revelio, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. Oh, of course. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, okay. Steady your wand with the left and guide it along the symbol path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the... Okay. Oh, I guess I did it. <laughs> that was weird. Revelio. There, I saw something. Yeah, it's over there. Move a bit closer and try again. Hold on, dude. Let's, let's maybe we can take some of this stuff. I mean, nobody cares. It's all knocked around on the ground anyway. What is this? Oh, it's numbers. I thought it was like names. Revelio. A door. Well, well, well. That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Step aside. Step aside. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know what the hell... Uh... Lumos. This doesn't look good. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. Professor, it's scary in here. Earn our way out. Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. God, the there graphics no are pretty good. There if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Probably some creepy shit in the dark. Probably have to stay in the light or something. Rebellion. <laughs> I didn't find anything, Professor. I don't see any, like... I'm trying to look close. I don't see any, like, creeper thingies in the dark. I see something up ahead. Oh. What is it? That glow again. Why don't we light... On the floor. Why don't we light some of these? Look. Ah. Oh. This one's spraying bubbles and stuff. I don't know about this. Oh, it's gonna go underwater, I bet. What the heck? Here we go. What happened? What the? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Rebellion. I presume this is what you saw reflected what in the, hell? the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's <laughs> positions don't match. What the Wait. Heck? When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Perhaps. All right. Oh, I almost missed it. Man, what the fuck do I need Hogwarts for? Okay, you've acquired the Wand Lighting Charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light... Oh, I know that. <laughs> I already know that. Okay. Hold right trigger... Tap Y. Ah, I see. Down in the bottom right. Lumos. Well done. Cool. Now the reflection is turning towards me. Why couldn't he do it? It does follow the light. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I thought he was going to stab it. Oh, he's just going to tap it. Oh, This is like heavy dark magic, dude. I don't know if I... Ah! I itch, went to itch my face. <laughs> Pref 
Professor, I don't know uh, offense here. Zap, 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 zap. I comboed him. Oh. I didn't even see that guy. Some dude just knocked me the fuck out. How do I dodge? Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Someone attack me. Let me practice, let me practice. Someone attack me. Ringo? There we go. How do I... Is there a dodge, perhaps? Oh, B, okay. Look at me tumble. Don't worry, Professor, I got you. Don't worry, Professor, I got it. Don't even try. Stay close. <sighs> yeah, I don't even need Hogwarts, honestly. Lumos. Oh. Professor. Professor Fig. Professor, where are you? Where are you? This isn't Professor. good. Professor. Where am I supposed to go? I hope these are leading me to him and not some booby trap thing. What's happening? in the world wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere this is a trap it's like a fairy trap or something hmm ah that's where they're leading me that glow again more floor stuff okay some more statues Two statues. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Oh, it's three. Holy shit. Come on, dude. There we go. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. I do like the fighting, I do like the fighting. Okay. Hold Y during Protegio, Protego or whatever the fuck to uh, stun enemies with Stupefy. Let me see the video. Ah, okay. Right, okay. Did I do it? No. Oh. Someone attack me here. You. Come on. Attack me. Nice, dude. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. It's got shoulder checked. Oh, fuck. Whoops. Stupid. I'm stupefying the wrong guy. Nice. Game is sweet. Game is sweet. Now where? I'm gonna itch my ear. All right. This way. Oh, finally a sprint. It is kind of weird fighting with right trigger though, because like, I feel like X is a common like uh, attack in some games. So I'm trying to like sometimes hit X for some reason. What is this about though? Look, the big symbol. Hmm. Whoa. What the heck, dude? I 
Ah, it's not even on the, <laughs> it's not on the other side. <laughs> this looks like one of those things. Hmm. That thing in the middle looks like that thing that uh, Dumbledore put his dreams in or whatever the hell it was, his memories. Actually, it might be what this is. I don't think this kid would know how to use it, though. Oh, wait, it is one of those fucking things. Like a pestle or whatever the fuck it's called. I think it's what it's called. Uh, there you are. How did you... Don't worry, Professor. What is this place? I'm a good I wizard. Know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive. Pensive. For viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Shove your face in here. Uh, there's something. Oh, dude. Uh, I'm almost positive there's a big like dragon in the back, <laughs> or something. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Okay. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. I'm not going to remember these guys' names if I'd see them come up again later. Dude, I'm already going to show up at Hogwarts just like beasting on all these kids. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. It's like I'm the chosen one or something. Astonishing. It's like astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looked Why, though? Did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Oh, great. Who were they? Oh, the I feds. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was. Oh, right. it's that fucking guy from the Ragnarok. newspaper. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones I didn't find anything. Bygones. I don't have anything. <laughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a It's got force powers. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more. I'll alive. never talk. <laughs> never. <laughs> Whoa, 
what is that noise? Oh my god, a fucking monster boss already. What the hell is this? All he knows how to zap and turn my wand light on. Professor Fig, we must run! He's gonna get stomped. I know a way out. Oh! Jesus, that was gonna chop him in half. <laughs> Whoa. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. What the hell, dude? Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. Are we at Hogwarts? It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. It's playing the Harry Potter Come. music. It better not mute my Twitch VOD. To get to. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> oh, it's the train. Here we go, dude. It looks awesome. Hogwarts Legacy. What an intro. <laughs> What's that little hut though? I don't know what that house on the water is. Jeez. I gotta get back to Hogwarts. I gotta get back to school. My guy looks like that character, actually, or that <laughs> dude in that play. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. All right. I'm no expert, <laughs> but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket. I don't want to wear these scrub can, clothes. First I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? It's gonna be awfully weird—a fifth-year kid uh, getting sorted with all these little kindergartners. Drama. Look at those candy. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Oh my god, it's gonna be so hard keeping track of these characters. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. What the fuck? <laughs> if you're lucky, <laughs> we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Why do you talk like that? <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Okay. Don't be eyeballing me, kid. Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Weasley? Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. So isn't it strange? It's like a fifth-year kid getting sorted with, like, little kindergartners, like eight-year-olds and stuff. I'm a homeschooled wizard. 
Now I think you can select your own. Oh, yes, a bit older than the others. Aren't yeah, you? see, he knows. He knows. You come here with preferences and preconceptions, certain expectations. No, I don't. I don't even. Uh, I can't wait to start classes. I'd rather explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. <laughs> mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder. Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? Uh... <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> Daring. Curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Mm. <laughs> ambition, I guess? Is it ambition? <laughs> it's, I may seem I'm not curious. But it is important to go after what you want from life. Mm. Ah, see, see, see. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. Snitch, we're not supposed to talk about that. A growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Oh, he knows. Perhaps you belong in. Spirit. Yes, I knew it. Perfect. It happened again. <laughs> Slytherin two times I've taken this test. <laughs> All right, accept house. You belong in Slytherin. Yeah. <laughs> I've taken that, this test twice now in my life and I've got Slytherin both times. <laughs> I'm just a base wizard, it is what it is. Nice freckles, kid. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been canceled. Oh, what the fuck? That's whack. What a kid die. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but. Don't tempt me. We just haven't coded in you Quidditch are here yet. You to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. What do you want us to do? Finish eating? Wait, Quite I thought that... An entrance. Wait. It's lovely to meet you. I thought the kid I'm at the table Professor was me. Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I, like... I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Now I'm getting the special treatment around here. I could have swore there was a kid at the Slytherin table that looked just like me. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Yeah, Maybe I know. a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Aspiration? Very well. Aspiration. Ooh, a snake door. Cool. <laughs> Let's see how this thing looks well in here. Done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Why am I getting such special Thank treatment? You, Professor Weasley. Ugh, welcome. what the hell? I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I'll try. Professor, there's some creepy mermaid statues in here. Oh, I don't get to look around. Oh, maybe I do. Does look pretty cool in here. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. 
It looks really nice, actually. Let's go rifle through everyone's stuff. See if I can give me some free things. I don't see any chests around here. That's a wussy looking chest. I hope it's not mine. Alright, let's see what's down here. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, do, do doors just open for me or what? Whoa, what the heck? So that's the common room then, I guess. Ah, that's the girls' room, I bet. Hey, look, I could take something. Free fruits. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I love wizard apples. Um, doesn't look like anything else in here. It's gonna take me a while to play this game. I'm gonna be walking around looking at everything, so <laughs> it just adds up. Any, what is that? The Kenmare Kestrels? I swear that's an actual, of course it's probably an actual team. Hey, for more free apples. I used to have that book, um, Quidditch Through the Ages or something. I think that was, I remember that name in it. Oh my god, there's tons of these rooms. I can get all the free apples that I want. Wow, there's actually reflection. Whoa. <laughs> all of these rooms are the same. Fuck. What's up here, though? There's no point going in there. Who are these kids? No mud bloods, I hope. Look, I'll go show off, play the piano. You like that? Nah, whatever. Wait, where am I? Oh, I needed to go down here. This place is huge. I suppose some introductions are in order. We don't have to talk to these kids. Check this out, dude. Okay, introduce yourself to Imelda. Oh, Menace and Sebastian, Jesus. Check this out. Wait, is that... Is this saving my game? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was saving. More free food? My lucky day. Oh my god, it's massive. <laughs> Oh, Draco Malfoy? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Sebastian Sallow. Can I help you? Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. I know. He was a friend of Professor Figs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Thank you. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Uh. <laughs> oh, I can't say it was terrifying. They all sound like a wussy. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. <laughs> I got a, I got a reputation to start making here. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit That's of none of your business, bills. actually. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Okay. Uh, what are you reading, bro? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. I'm aware. Uh... Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Yeah, like the two you Which just ones? learned. Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. Uh, <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. He's gonna be like a it serial killer kid or something. Good luck today. 
If he's gonna t teach me like dark magic or something, he's gonna be like all into it, like killing animals or something. Just look at him. Probably some rich kid. Enjoys torturing bugs and stuff. Six inches apart. That's good. That's good. What are you looking at? I find if I try to look at things in the poetry, it needs to be. Oh, what the? It works quite well and let me ask a question and then stop. What's in here? Oh. <laughs> a fake bird. Bird bones or something. My parents were thrilled to hear that Black was being put in charge. Our families have been friends for centuries. Wow, congratulations. What is this? Oh, it's just like a little cool room, I get, or like a <laughs> lighting area or something. Just a cozy little uh, section. There's donuts and stuff, dude. This place looks really cool. I will say. Oh wait, this kid? If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Oh great, a smart Alec. <laughs> I know it all. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. <sighs> do I have to talk don't to this say girl? I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. Wow, I'm sure gonna like this character. You should have listened to me. Oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. Yep, yep, I'm a yep. Elder, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I Why? could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't need your help, Imelda. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Oh my Perhaps god. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Eh. Pleasure's yours, I guess, not mine. Oh, look at the brooding cool kid. What's your deal? I I think I heard one. Wait, are we underwater? Holy shit, we're underwater. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Why? Ah, based on all the chat in the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm ominous. Ominous gaunt. Nice to meet you, ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Uh, not to be rude. Is this kid blind or something? Um, I'd like to make an entrance, bro. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Uh, okay. I think this kid's blind. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. Proof? One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. Why? He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Wow, that's... <laughs> Thanks for uh, telling me. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes. But I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Hmm. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. I don't believe this kid, though. There's <laughs> the new fifth year Slytherin in here. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Who said that? Pick up the papers, guys. Come on. Let's keep the common room, common room clean here. Wait, what's up with this, uh, statue? What the heck? What the hell? It's like the reindeer from Nightmare Before Christmas. Sounds like, oh, you, a terrible thing to kill a unicorn, though. I really don't like this girl, by the way. She's gonna be annoying as fuck.
Okay. Everyone likes the Kestrels in here. What are these? What are those? I can't see. Oh, they're Order of Merlin. The circle one says Order of Merlin. It must be like a... Like the head boy badges and stuff. Fucking A. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. I know, I already broke a now, vase. Now, in light of your <laughs> unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Okay. Whoa. Here you are. What in the hell? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Cool. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. Can I light this? I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when oh. I was a student. Wait, 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 wait. Using the guide will also train oh, you to be alert to your surroundings. Wait, hold on. I'm stuck back here. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Wizard lore? Whoa, what is that? Do keep up. My thing just vibrated. Hang on. Why don't you cast oh. Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Okay. Revelio. Field guide page collect. Kelpie statue. The statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting shape water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of long-maned horse. The large, largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Cool. Okay, you just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appear here. Field guide challenges are the only way to ex acquire XP. Okay, this is your wizarding... Oh, shit. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Whoa, dude. Oh, I get, like, clothes and stuff. Okay, each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards. Okay. What about this chest? Wait Clever, a sec. Isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Oh, I can aim it. Duh. Whoa. I just accidentally tapped this. Oh god, there's... 
<laughs> Avada Kedavra. <laughs> okay, so this is where I just customized my, um, like, spell wheel. What is that kid doing? Oh, I thought the kid... What the hell? I thought the kid had, her, the, like, her arms in the air. <laughs> I... <laughs> Where are we going, Professor? You don't walk very fast. <laughs> really, I thought that kid had his, her arms in the air. Whoa. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Lower grade staircase. Your field oh. guide contains a map of the castle. Okay. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, you discovered a flu flame. Okay, so there's fast travel. Whoa. Okay, Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the great hall. Do I just click them or what? Oh no, zoom. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you've discovered. Okay. Wait a sec. Reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. The right side of the map is where you will find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Is it locked Central Hall? F oh, wait, I gotta find Central Hall. Or am I in Central Hall? <laughs> I'm in Central Hall. I'm gonna travel then. Whoa. Here we are. Like whale bones. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I hear Elder Holdfield is lovely. Is it so that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Okay. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Cool. Um. What will I learn in Charms class? Charms. Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, <laughs> all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Can Wait, who's running Defense Against the, the Dark Arts these the dark days? Arts class. Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' Professor education Hecate? in that regard. Okay. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require. I bet Hogsmeade's going to look pretty cool, too. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. I don't need friends. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. Oh, what, You'll be homework? up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. Well, you ain't My getting nothing out of me, lady. There's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. <laughs> you ain't getting nothing out of me. 
I'm sorry, Prince. I'm not a snitch. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. You want someone to snitch? Go find a Hufflepuff Speak kid. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't Not on say purpose. I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Yeah, there you Very go. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. I wonder what each Good of these guys today. teach. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. Okay. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade. Whoa, what class surprise. do you teach, though? All right, hold on one sec. Rebellion. What did it do? Hold on. Oh, shit. Wait, what's... What's this? What the hell? I don't know what that is. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yeah, boy. <laughs> I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. As capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley. Why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Okay. Unfold it and have a look. Okay. You can track available quests from the map. So, okay. This, that symbol, I guess, represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, grant XP. Okay, some quests are locked by spell and or level requirement. Oh, okay, that one's got a little lock on it. In these cases, you will need to be requ the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's uh, assignments or as quest rewards. Track a quest. So this is Defense Against the Dark Arts or Charms class. Looks like I get, I get a spell off both of them. We'll do Charms, I guess. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. Oh, yeah. I shall reach out when I have more information <laughs> about how <laughs> I have to get my own wand. locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. <laughs> All right, dude. Quest complete. Cast Charmed Compass. The Charmed Compass will lead you... What the hell? Wait, what'd that do? Oh, okay, it's just a waypoint.
Revelio. See, what is this thing over here? There's something in there. I oh. Don't know it. Oh, really? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. It's a Hufflepuff kid. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. I'm American. I don't know what painting. that means. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Okay. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. Hmm. But I'm not sure what to do next. Okay. Well, at least I know that. Are there other paintings? Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. <laughs> if I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, Don't read, I may dude. Look. I'll check. Could be intriguing. <clears throat> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. I'm actually surprised the Hufflepuff kid wasn't an annoying. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Hang on, dude. I know this spell. Come back. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. Whoa. I should look around in case it's nearby. <laughs> I was muting the mic to clear my throat. Uh, it's like some uh, like dragon egg thingy or something. Does it stay? Okay, it stays. All right. What the hell? Death cap, like in League of Legends. Ah, shit! Can't aim. Haha! <laughs> Do a little vandalism. What's in here? What are you guys doing? Nice hats, dude. What the heck's he doing? Oh. Oh. It's locked. All right. I better get to charms class, otherwise I'll be late. Wait, whose book is that? Is that my book telling me where to go? Fuck. Wait, am I going the wrong direction? I don't know, what the fuck? Whoa, what the hell is this? Whoa, dude. Okay. So there's these weird puzzles now. What is this now? What the hell? Dude, what the heck? <laughs> what the? This looks like the location from the painting. Oh, wait. What could be so special about it? It is the... Okay. I found this by accident. <laughs> Rebellion. Oh, wait. This isn't even an egg. It's a fat guy. Let's see. Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. The statue with an uh, ingratiating grin <laughs> depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's un unctuous unction, the potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. That's weird. What about this thing? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, okay. Follow me, dude. Do I just... Ha! I knew there was a connection. Okay. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Got a field guide page. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts. I'm level two. 
Oh wait, it's autosave, isn't it? Gear inventory collections. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Make me a save slot. I'll make two. <laughs> Outposts, we got quests. Yeah, I'm liking this game a lot so far. Map challenges. Okay. Collections. Oh, it's just like collecting stuff. Okay. It's my inventory. Got literally nothing. And then gear. Looking cool, man. Do I have a... S what the hell? Natural beige scarf? What the fuck? Destroy? Oh, what the... <laughs> wear a dumb hat. Nah, let's roll with that. I gotta get the charms glass, dude. Do you happen to have any oh, wait. What? This ain't a classroom. Oh, wait, no. She was watching the Anora, whole time. I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Hi, IQ. I'm not telling. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very <laughs> logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. Oh, we yeah? Have a knack for solving riddles. Matty's good at that, too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Literally who? All right, cool. Moth. I should have seen that. <laughs> What the hell? Did I just get weird? I think I got like weird clothes or something. I don't know what the point of me being. Wait. Rebellion. What was that? Something dinged again. I don't know what's dinging. I think it's the. It could be the painting still though. Wrong button, wrong button. I need to get charms again. There we go. Alright, let's go. Look at this cool guy. Revelio. <laughs> what? Oh! You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Oh, uh, proof? Proof? Casting us like every two seconds. Hogwarts Legacy was eighty dollars. I got it when it, mine was like seventy. Maybe you got like the you found the uh, uh like game of the year edition or like you know what I mean, like the special edition or something like that. Because I bought it when I got my Xbox. This is not the right way. I'm going to get lost in here bad. Whoa. Oh, I'm outside. Rebellion. Oh, you looked it up on Steam? Whoa. What the hell? There's like a little very suspicious meeting going on right there. You got gifted a game? What is it? What is it? Did you get past the first level? Wait, I'm in defense against the dark arts.
Well, this looks cool in here. Elder Scrolls? Well, like Skyrim? What the heck? A cat? <laughs> what the hell? Whose cat is this? The ripoff Elder Scrolls? Elder Souls? Oh, Elden Ring? Is that what you're talking about? Revelio. Nope. Elder Souls? I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> Look at this cool kid. Bow, clothesline, right off the balcony. Watch out, kid. I'm gonna be late to charms. What the? Damn it. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, I want to see something. Oh, I was gonna... I was gonna see if I can knock his books out. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him My to finish the lesson. Travel somewhere every Some of us don't necessarily I'm want him to, to get back Romania. to the lesson. Would love to see a dragon in flesh. Who are these people? Nothing better than a it's gonna be, for real, it's gonna be so hard to like, keep track of these people. Look at this depressed girl or something. What the I'm fuck? My I swear, uh... I cannot do this for all eternity! There is ghosts! Talk about this. Ah! I was gonna say, a ghost just like popped up in my face. Oh, Charms Classroom. Peeves. Where is he? Look, it's Peeves. Oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. He's trolling hard over here. Oh, fight, fight. It's a bold attack. Was the minister of flack? <laughs> He's being a bastard. <laughs> in trouble you will be, but you can't get peace of smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, it was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> what a shithead, dude. <laughs> what am I even doing again? Oh yeah, charm. <laughs> Oh, Peeves fucked off. I say, teach me everything you know. In fact, okay, I think Charms is in here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Finally, alright. Just running around the castle is pretty fun. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Natsai Onai. Hello, I am Netty. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. A now, gorgeous. Oh my god. <laughs> year in your education on the art of charm. Work. Twenty bucks. But I am confident that we will take hold. With a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? What the anyone? hell? I only have anyone? books. Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. What the fuck? I don't even know. Mm. I just got her book taken. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? No. <laughs> mm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they what are. What the hell is bug eyes? 
take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Okay. Asio. Or Accio. Accio! That is not bad. Thank you. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. I know it's a long game. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Let's go, dude. Why am I starting to play like one game? What do you mean? What, just like one game today? Because it's new. And I wanted to play it. Okay, why will protect you? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery. Last time? Sure what yesterday? No, I didn't. I played like three. Agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> um, uh, what the hell? We're building a whole house. What the hell? The day before, I think. I don't know, man. So why don't we have our newest students? The way it goes sometimes, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay. Simply cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Okay. Now, uh, think of this kind like of read. Gobstones, if right. You will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall. Yes? Okay. Now, I could keep talking ah. about theory all day, but practice <laughs> is the best professor. I want to read. Show us how it's done. <clears throat> okay, so the summoning charm Akio pulls the target closer to the caster. Hold right trigger and press the assigned button to cast Accio and pull the target closer. Pull a target closer. Press the button again to cease casting the spell. Okay, so I think it's like this. Accio. Then X. X. Don't lose Fuck. Your composure. There. Very good. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna let off. Accio. Oh. <laughs> Very good. Points to Slytherin. Thank but you. But there's certainly no sport <laughs> in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Okay. Yes, sir. You first. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh oh. It's <laughs> not good. Watch out, kid. You're blocking me. Stop, 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 stop. Stop! Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Oh my god. She's killing me with these things. Stop, dude. Fuck. She's pushing me. She pushed me. That is how it's done. Oh. She went perfect 150. Quite yes, that counts. That counts. That counts. <laughs> Damn it. 
It was windy on my turn. Let us make this <coughs> a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> oh, shit. I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. Come on, do you take your this turn? Round settles it all. Be sharp. Oh, finally, she didn't get 50. Jeez. There we go. All right. Yes, that, I'll take it. <laughs> it stayed on. I'll take it. Heh, <laughs> your turn. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Step aside. You like that? You like that? Is she saying Accio? Watch this. Oh, I thought she was saying something different. All right. That is how it's done. I just gotta get in the orange, I think. Accio. Owned, owned, owned. That's it. That's right. I'm the Accio expert, baby. Good, both There's of some you. kid on well the side. Ha! 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 I'm not gonna remember half these characters, seriously. Well, pass is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. Thank you. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took you got cocky. To become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Okay. Listen, dude, I wasn't having a hard time anyway. Uh Thank you, but I've been holding my own. See? I appreciate your confidence. See, no I problem. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. Okay. And my mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Cool. Uh... Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. Uh -oh. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Okay. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? I've heard of it's this place. It suggests mountains of the moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Cool. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. <laughs> what do you use? Um, cool. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Okay. Cool. It's nice to learn about another way. Thanks for the lore, kid. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Okay, bye. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. If you're so inclined. <laughs> oh, really? Hey, After girl. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Okay, thanks for telling me.
Professor, I'm gonna go in your office real quick. If you would. Oh, fuck. I actually can go in there, though. Hang on, dude. Oh, I thought that was the thing I could click. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did I don't well, know. Managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. I know, Thank you, I know. Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Why? <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Sick, dude. Ugh, I need to stand up and stretch. I got an achievement. Attend my first class. I'm getting special treatment left and right in this place. I'm like the king of Hogwarts. It's crazy. What's going on in here? Hello there. You're the new student. Who said aren't that? You? Oh. Yeah. What do you want? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. The chosen oh, one. Day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I should be a cocky dickhead the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't Thank a challenge. You, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, I'm not being humble he though. tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> and you're in Ravenclaw. Huh. I should be in Ravenclaw. What is this kid doing? What the heck? <laughs> Better be careful, bro. You're gonna <laughs> set me on fire. Everyone knows you can't conjure food. Haven't you heard of Gamp Snore? Professor Weasley is easily. How can you not conjure food? Her wand work is exquisite. I thought that that's what they do in the dining hall or whatever. Never had such abysmal mouth. Another cat. There's cats all over in here. What's up this way? Actually, let me put... Okay, side quit. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. main assignments relationships relationships side quests okay but no i need map again there i'll just track that for now and just continue to run around oh wait hold on getting the menus all fucked up can i level up or something oh wait challenges what do i Quests. Ah. Legendary gloves. <laughs> I have cool gloves, I guess. <laughs> I'll wear my cool guy gloves. <laughs> I'm the kid with the leather, leather gloves. Oh, I can, that's how I take them off. I don't want to wear those. <laughs> Be a little asshole. Okay, quest collections. I already looked at this stuff. I'm gonna stay walking up here. See what the hell I can find. Rebellion. Hmm. How high does this go? What 
What's up, kid? Wait. What was that noise? What in the world? <laughs> oh. Wait, 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 wait. Rebellion. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry, de tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, dude. Would it change the world? I seem to be going up some, like, <laughs> some tower. Oh, maybe it's that divination class up here. Wait, actually, that might... Astronomy tower. That might be actually be what's up here. Off on another adventure, are we? What? Who said that? Oh, <laughs> that thing. <laughs> Why the hell said that? Yes, yeah, it's definitely that. What the hell? What the? My dear Satyav? What? Satyavati. You'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they had, in fact, been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer. All muggles, mind you, as far as I know. To purpose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine uh, what they might do with an enchanting telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym from my days as a gentleman scholar, whilst I find it rather exciting to have a secret identity the reasons irk me. I'm so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. <laughs> the fuck is that? Okay. <laughs> what the hell's Jantar Mantar? How nice to see you, my young friend. What the hell? Who is creepy kid? What the hell? What are you doing in here? What the heck? Where does this go? Watch out, dweeb. Dude, this just keeps going up and up and up. Rebellion. Damn. Found money. Oh, it's a... It goes up more. <laughs> Hello, owl. Some cool telescope, I guess. Oh, maybe the, the owls are... Wait, no. Isn't this where... Ain't this where Dumbledore died? There's gotta be something to spinning these things. There has to be. Also, I'm positive this is where Dumbledore died. There we go. Hey, the Quidditch thing. Astronomy telescope. This telescope is the finest star-gazing star instrument of its kind, perfect for viewing the moon and the stars and anything else one might find in the night sky. I leveled up again. Cool, dude. The Quidditch thing. 
All right, I seriously have to go down here because I'm going to be late to dark arts. I suppose I could fast travel, but it's funner to... <laughs> I like exploring the castle. Whoa! Lumos. Oh. Excuse me, kids. Solving a mystery. <laughs> Fishes are the best. <laughs> that they are, bro. <laughs> they won yesterday. Alright, let's take the bug back down. Here you go. Potato. Wrong button. Okay. I wish we didn't have to use the dagger and potions. What? <laughs> she doesn't like using the dagger and potions, I guess. Whoops, stuck on the wall. Uh, what are you doing? Weird kid. Wait. Oh. More globe spinning. There's gotta be something to the globe spinning. Revelio. Oh. What the hell? Oh no, it's Peeves. What are you doing? What the heck? It's like a galaxy in here. I didn't notice that. Where's Peeves even at? I think that was Peeves. <laughs> it sounded like him. Okay. Now. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. <laughs> I've no what the heck? Ah. <laughs> this girl's lighting her face on fire. God damn, what are these kids doing right here? <laughs> and burn the place down. What the hell is it? Classical music. That's a cat. Oh, there's another one of these things. I'll do it later. Oh, looky here, looky here. Rebellion. What do we got? Augury skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury, an intensely shy bird who can forecast... The coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once still believed to foretell death. What the hell? I need hey, look, a gnome picture. I think my owl's getting cobwebs. Whoa. Whoa, gargoyle statue. Professor Weasley. Revelio. Never required us to ride more riches than part of us. Okay. Man, where the hell am I going? Here it is. What the? Weird ass eyeballs. Let's do it. Oh no, it's this kid. 
You sure to kill him. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, yeah, you of may course. be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! Uh, rang her! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. No problem, no problem. Levioso. I'm betting this is used to like solve puzzles and stuff. Now, let's try something a little larger. Why has he got a green cape? It's a bit prejudiced, no? You just assume the bad guys slither in? Let us begin okay. with a basic cast. Perform basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yes. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise Levioso. Now, the basic is well done. Cool. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts work. Oh, you want smoke, now, Sebastian? I want to <laughs> Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Let's spam him. Gotcha. Easy. Oh, wait. Protego. Good form. <laughs> You're a bum, kid. You're a bum. I'm gonna knock you off the table. Come on. Knocked him off the table, Professor. Look at that. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> well, you didn't give me much, dude. <laughs> Look how proud of himself he is. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Yeah, Thank that was going to be... Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Yeah, I yeah. demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Okay. So no. Right. Oh no! That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Is this got anno that annoying girl? I'd hate to face Professor Hecate. It is. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. <laughs> you can't be serious. <laughs> Who are you scaring, dude? Oh my god. <laughs> The dark wizards will fear you, bro. Nice work. Thanks, dude. I enjoyed that. 
Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. Oh, how really how embarrassing practice. for you. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh... <laughs> In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. I gotta play it off, dude. Like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. What, Fight Club? Okay. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. <laughs> Underground Excellent. wizard fighting, dude. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Ah. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. This guy. You just have to be <laughs> clever enough not to get caught. This guy knows Thank all the good stuff here. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. <laughs> Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. Who? If you're interested. I don't know who that is. Time. Just clock tower entrance or something. All right, defense against dark arts complete. Jeez, professor, walk much? Ugh. What are you guys doing? Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's impressed, dude. Wait, okay, hold on. Rebellion. Oh, it's just that lock and there's stuff inside her office. What are you doing, kid? Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. <laughs> what? <laughs> that can't be that kid's voice. <laughs> I don't you like. Can't imagine how inconvenient I don't like dueling. I invented flu powder. Are you bullying the Slytherin kid? All these Gryffindor kids are over here harassing her. Unbelievable. Oh wait, now wait, what's going on here? Free tea, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I think next is Hogsmeade, isn't it? Oh, fucking A. There. Uh, Weasley after class. Oh, wait. Professor Weasley wants to meet me in her classroom, which is off the Transfiguration Courtyard. Okay. Hopefully she has a word on my... Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, it is the Hogsmeade thing. All right. Let's go. But, you know, they want a pinch. What are these weirds? These are like weird that they don't have like a pillar underneath them or something. Look at this creepy statue. Rebellion. What the? There's a chest over here. Oh, I think it's locked though. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, I don't definitely don't have anything to get in that. Okay. Transfiguration Courtyard. Hey, there's an owl up there. There's Harry Potter's owl. Actually, I think, isn't this game like hundreds of years before Harry Potter? What's up with all the cats? Where the hell is this professor at? Professor Weasley. Oh, here we go. What the hell? She's the tree. What about the room, Professor? Uh, I house was elf. thinking the Yuck. same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, 
There you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. Mm -hmm. I wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Oh, wait. Isn't there? I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. <laughs> In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress. I'm not going to snitch. Extra assignments. Okay. Professor Ronan mentioned that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Oh, what Thank the you, hell? Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Cool. Okay. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp Probably asked have to find that they recipes. have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Oh. Okay. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Oh, okay, so there's probably some puzzles or something that require a certain thing to be, like, transformed into it. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. Yeah. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Why is he not? Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. What's you out of business no later on? Else to pair me with a wand. Okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Okay. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I've only talked to that one girl one time. I'll take the Sebastian kid. He's cool. <laughs> I'd like to go with Sebastian. Might be a Glad serial killer or something, but... Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. All He'll right. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? Who? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished what? Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Why don't you guys just call the cops on this guy? The wizard cops or something? You're letting students go out and dealing with the guy. Oh, wait. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward... For completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. Okay. Well, let's do that then. Oh, wait, I think it's... Hold on, I think it's... Uh, I think it has me tracking this anyway. What else is in here that I could take? Got any treasure chests in here, Professor? What about in here? Uh, next time. Oh, I was gonna jump on the table. <laughs> Alright, he's out here somewhere, I think. Yeah, here he is. What the hell? What the heck? What is that? What the hell? Oh, there's scissors. I thought it was like a hand sticking out at me. Like a little stick hand. What are you doing? Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up. 
makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Okay. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? Yeah, dude, no just teach it to me. No lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Alright, what are we doing here? Collect a flying page near the broken statue. Collect a flying page in the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. Fuck! Rebellion. Okay, Wyvern Fountain. This fountain is the Transfiguration Courtyard. Uh, has a likeness of a wyvern on top of, or on top, and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, this is most uh, assuredly not meant to be a wyvern of Y slain by the lively. Okay. Is the other one over here? Wait. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wrong page. How do I get it? Rebellion. Let me answer. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm just trying to remember what the hell my spells were. Can I jump in this? This looks cool out here, though. I was like, wait, wait. I know I learned something for this. Ay, ay, ay. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Um. Didn't I see one in here? Oh, right above my head. Might some kind soul help me? What? <laughs> Wrong button. There we go. What's your problem over here? What? Zenobia Noke? Nice name. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noke. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Maybe it's your voice. Um, <laughs> cool. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That no talent moon mind. Okay. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? No. Little balls. Like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Wow, sounds like a great time. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Mm, I'm kind of getting why. Is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. I kind of get why people don't and like now you. Those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Well, owned, I guess. <laughs> I'd have done the same. <laughs> Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. <laughs> anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. What the fuck? What do I get out of this? Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. 
Oh. Hit my cobstones that high. Got up there somehow. Okay. Do I know these spells? Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. <laughs> okay. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <laughs> okay, where... What do your gobstones even look like? <laughs> what am I looking for? Yeah, thanks for the description, kid. Oh, wait. What the hell? Oh, yeah, they're on the... Wait, oh, they're on the map now. Gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Gobstones? <laughs> oh, wait, is that one? Akio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, okay. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Let's try in here. Wrong button. What's this paper? Oh, there. Akio. What the heck? What's that kid got? What is that? Oh, it's... I don't know what he has. These things are all over the place. I'm glad it kind of <laughs> kind of tells me a general area. I would have never found these. Oh, no. What an asshole. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh my god, that one's miles away. Is there extra stairs up here? How the hell? This kid better give me something good. Wait, 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 wait. Is that it? Oh, that's not it. I'm just gonna go up this way. I'd better keep an eye on high places around oh, the school for Zenobia's gobstones. This is divination. There's one. Okay. Off on another adventure, are we? What the heck? Hold on. <laughs> don't, don't climb that. Okay. There's three. <laughs> Halfway there. I swear this kid better not just say thank you. I want money, kid. Galleons. Wizard money. This is like a part. I don't, I've not been on. Yeah, I, I've not been in this side of the school. I gotta go up here. Wait. Oh, dude. <laughs> I thought this door was like. Didn't have a handle on it or something. It'd be like a magic door. Low IQ, I'm sorry. God, this game looks good. <laughs> it is very dark in here. Oh, there's another one of these things, but... Don't really want to do it right now. Kind of just exploring and uh, getting this thing done. Where is this? There's another one of these uh, question mark things. Oh yeah, right here, look. A chest. Got more money. What the hell? The 
does this mean? <laughs> I honestly don't know what it means. I'm sure, like, later on I'll get a tutorial for it, but... I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Uh, right there. Wait, I didn't see where... What's this kid doing? I didn't see where this said this was. Wait, what? Revelio. Huh. Levioso. Oh, what the heck? What the hell? All right. <laughs> cool, I guess. What? Where am I? Oh my god, it's miles away. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> Magic stairs, dude. <laughs> Got me confused. Looks like a guy, one of the guys in the, the uh, terror. <laughs> Oh, no, there's one of these things over there, too. What the hell? Man, this goes up high. Oh, actually... Let me go ahead and save. <laughs> Haven't done it in an hour. Yikes. Oh. What the hell? How do I... Rebellion. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I guess I can't get these ones. Alright. Or I'm doing something wrong here. The one looks like it's outside on the roof. Actually, both of them do. But this is as high as it goes. Huh. Oops, what was I doing? What was I doing? Bell tower. I need this. There. Crossed wands? Oh, yeah, okay. Right, where the hell is this? Let's go there. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I know. Well, we can't do it now, dude. I swear those other two are unreachable at the moment. Let's just go give this guy his papers back. Oh, it's okay. I know where I'm at. Use. What the heck? <laughs> what the hell was that? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. 
Oh, what the fuck? I just like phased through the door. All right, dude, I, I got you. the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. Nah, dude, I got him. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, oh, your God. wand is a conduit of your magic. That's the first one that didn't have A in it. Or like didn't have all A. Reparo. Okay, the mending charm Reparo can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Okay. So I assume. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that yeah, broken say, statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. <laughs> okay. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I hear ducks out here. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I know, dude. Fucking A. <laughs> Wait, there's a... chest? Rebellion. What the hell? There's like a chest or something over here. I can't find it. Okay, so let's do Welcome to Hogsmeade. Sebastian Swallow or Solo <laughs> is coming with me. Okay. Quests. Oh, I can't claim any of this. All right. I think Hogsmeade's actually gonna. Wait. Oh fuck. I actually think Hogsmeade might look pretty cool. Try working with a wand. <laughs> what the hell? He's going to hand me down one. <laughs> He's not happy about it. Excuse me. What is this door? What the heck? What is this? Oh. Oh. It's the library. Okay. I'll go mess around in the restricted section later on. Not to that way. How can one not practice self -regarding? Professor Garlic? What the hell are you talking about? Someone fancies Professor Garlic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this weird statue. What the hell? Rebellion. Nice lantern, dude. Wonder how sharp injured his leg. I wait for some student pilot. Oh, hello, hold on. Wooden cat. This wood uh this wooden statue bears the likeness of Pangur Dawn, fearless feline, mouse hunter, and devoted study companion. <laughs> Okay. Any news about the dragon you pick up on the hallway? Be enough to make me move, to be honest. 
Hmm. Talking about a dragon. Oh, a chest. Asylum mat. What? What did I just find? <laughs> what the hell did I just find? <laughs> Imagine why the fuck would I wear that? Oh my god, dude, what the hell? <laughs> Honestly. Why would I ever wear that? Oh, increases my defense, apparently. I'd look like an asshole, though. I can't do that. <laughs> I cannot wear that. I've been collecting Rebellion. Oh. Three sister or the, yeah, three sisters bells. The three three sisters bells are said to be a tribute to three similarly named beautiful steep ridges <laughs> that rise majestically over a glen in Argyleshire. It is rumored that one can hear them ring in the glen way across the highlands. When they are rowing in the castle, locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. Well, Fancy meeting you here. Wait, hold on, dude. Rebellion. Broken broom? Oh, this broken broom belonged to Celine Wartnabby, and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on <laughs> what the fuck demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she. What the heck? Okay, is this the accident that <laughs> won't let us play Quidditch? What is that? A... Rebellion. What is that? It's like a armor with a stump on its head. Flattened armor. The set of armor belongs to Sir Skagglethorpe, the, headle the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. What the fuck? Alright, dude. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, me? and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? What do you think? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Let's go, dude. Uh, all right. Damn, I've already been going three hours almost. I plan on going like another hour and a half or so. Looks cool, looks cool. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see <laughs> it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Are these Quidditch players? Is that what they're supposed to be? Looks good, looks good. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Yeah, I don't know what the Has fuck, she? man. That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. <laughs> I spend a lot of time in detention, dude. Just enough to keep me well rounded. Come this way, dude. Come on. We're gonna go look at the Quidditch arena. Just kidding. Guess not. What's up with this? Oh, it's watering the ground. Pumbaa statues, look at that. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Oh, really? Dude, this is for real, like, 
the best Spanish looking game I think I've played. On the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Right. <laughs> See, I think this kid might uh, dabble in some dangerous stuff later on, or something. So how did you manage to get from the librarian's bag? But I like him. He's a cool well, fella. I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. <laughs> oh, just one moment. What? This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Okay. Let's get them then. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> That's kind of cool, though. What the hell was that? Look, what's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Like hippogriffs or something. Oh, f oh, cool. What did it fly to? Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Nice voice. Oh, it's Why this kid. We named them too. Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. This kid's an asshole, by the way. This ginger guy. I can already tell he's a prick, but this is the kid with a weird voice. So that was Hufflepuff. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Exactly. We can handle ah, it, dude. You can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Where? Oh, up there. I don't, I don't know what that little hut does down there. Oh, maybe it's where... Oh, wait. It might be where, like, the boats at the start, like, dock or something. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? No. A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Hmm, maybe one day. I may actually spill the beans to this kid. He's kind of cool. Or he's not annoying, at least. Wait, are these more... I got lace wing things. I got like hopping mushrooms or something. Leaping toadstool caps. I wonder if I can actually get in the water because that would be actually pretty cool. Because. That lake is massive. <laughs> I've always thought Thestrals pulling a carriage a bit grim. Oh yeah, Thestrals, that's what they're called. don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. Hmm. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. I knew it, I knew it. Moonstones. All right, so moonstones, toadstool caps, lacewing flies. Getting all kinds of stuff. Ah, oh, what a view. What a view. This really is a game you can just walk around and like look at stuff in though. I hope to have an owl of my own. She have a cell phone. Oh. It's always so exciting. I thought this girl had a cell phone. I'm not kidding. Mr. Moon. Oh. 
He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Who? Oh, this fella. Standing next to the broken tree. Hello, Mr. Moon. Wait, is there a day-night cycle in this game? game? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Oh, he's drunk. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. <sighs> what did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well. <laughs> Demi guys. <laughs> he's drunk. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've he's... never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. <laughs> She's like fucked up on school hours. <laughs> Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Okay. Oh my god, look at all his signs. Wait, Hogsmeade Station, Aaronshire, Brockborough. No trolls allowed. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sure they'll uh, adhere to the signs, dude. Wait, wait, wait. We got something right here. Rebellion. Wait, what is... Oh, I was too far away. Hogsmeade. The only all-wizarding village in Britain. Hogsmeade has been a favorite haunt of Hogwarts students. That's a weird thing to say. 30 years and up. Wait. Is over this way. Don't freak out on me. Don't freak out on me. Don't freak out on me. Oh, isn't that screaming shack around here? Dude, there's... This game is huge. Yep, this place looks cool. Yep, yep. Honestly, I like this a lot. <laughs> if one could bust the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Rebellion. What do we got here? Uh, Ceridwin's precarious cauldrons. This precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Ceridwin's advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Can I actually go in this place? Oh my god, there's so much to do in here. Look at the other drunk person, Jesus. Damn, dude. Could I... oh. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Ditter me seeds, some spellcrafts, and some potions. I'll do the one last. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new I'll wand. do the main event last. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Okay. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Okay, Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide map. Ah, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Show shops and points of interest. Oh, wait, this is what I was looking for. I think. That's that shack that. I think. You can track any of these. Okay, it works just the same as. Okay, visit Tomes and Scrolls, Ollivander's, J. Pippin's Potions, and the Magic Meep. Some quests, okay. So, I want to go to, let's go to Tomes and Scrolls first. What the fuck is that, though? Oh, it's right here. I think I just turn around. Oh, no, it's right, straight in front of me. Excuse me. 
I'm gonna go in that cauldron shop again real quick. I like the music here too. What you got, brah? <laughs> got any po uh, cauldrons, perhaps? Wait. Dusky wool scarf. What do you have back here? Can I actually talk to this guy? I'm just gonna let me go behind the counter, dude, I guess. Oh, here it is. <laughs> cool. Oh! I found two coins. Watch out, idiot. Hello, sir. I'm back to explore your shop. Yeah, I might, uh, <laughs> I might have an issue in this town. Just walking around looking at stuff. Oh, it's raining now. Why is these guys purple? What the hell? Can't imagine how muggles get by without magic. Almost makes me feel a bit oh, guilty. damn, everything's locked. So, or not everything. All right. Inquiring mind. Whoa. Free paper. Thank you. Wait, what the heck? Whoa, that was cool. I like this area. <laughs> it looks cool. Where does this lead? Okay. Well, let's see what the hell he's got up here. I really like the music for Hogsmeade. Actually, I probably should talk to him because I bet he's got like a mission for up here or something like that. Or he's just just a store guy. Thomas Brown. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. Uh. I'm afraid I haven't no. yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Hmm. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. Okay. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I, I believe so, sir. I guess. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own <clears throat> ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh, God. <laughs> Dung composter. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Use it to, or use its pot to grow all sorts of useful magical plants. Okay. And then this unlocks the ability to conjure a small potion station perfectly suited to all of your potion brewing needs. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Oh, man. It's overwhelming a little bit. That's it, man. Okay. So I don't think I need to talk to him anymore. I think he Let's just... Let's look at what okay, we have, yeah. shall we? He just becomes like an actual shop now. Okay. He's got a cool outfit. <laughs> oh. Wait. 
Where was that? Oh, it's probably on the outside, actually. Ew, why do you have that? What even is that? <laughs> oh, it's a chest, okay. Scarecrow Sorcerer Hat? Hmm, let's see this one. <laughs> sure, dude. <laughs> I'll wear it. Increase my defense. <laughs> Hold on. Let me save. Let me save. On that one. Actually, ah, I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off. <laughs> there. See, I think the little. Uh, oh wait, what the hell? How did I not get Rebellion. that? Never mind. I was gonna say it's on the outside. It's not. Okay, enchanted staircase. This enchanted staircase in tomes, or yeah, tomes and scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. The proprietor here, Thomas Brown, sells a variety of written products, including spellcrafts, handy for conjuring. There are chests somewhere over here. How do I get to them though? A wiggy wow potion. Holy shit, I, okay. I didn't think it would let me do that. I'm soaked, dude, I'm soaked. Rebellion. Maybe there wasn't a, po or a chest. Okay, that's Sirdwin's coat, or cauldrons. All right. Let's do... Wait, where do I have to go? I don't want to go to all Avengers just yet. I'll do that one last. That one. I gotta go to the potion store. Aw. Oh, you can actually, it looks like you can actually go into like almost, almost every building. It's the jerky guy. What's he selling? Oh, he just got like, <laughs> he's sitting there patiently waiting for people to buy. What's he got? Anything magic? Magic meats, perhaps? What the heck? The beasts are omens? What is this nonsense? This guy's coughing all over everything. Jesus! <laughs> Whoa! What the heck? Oh, I can go in that. Okay, J. Pippin's potions. Revelio. What is this? Oh. Jesus. I thought it was something I had to like pick up. Like uh, with a spell. Oh, here we go. West Hogmead. What the? Look at that place. I'm getting trolled by this piece of paper. I'm trying to catch it. I can't grab it. That place looks cool out there. Real, I think all of Hogsmeade looks cool. Uh, this 
that seems like if you fall down in there, you're not getting back out. So, <laughs> I'll avoid that. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Hello, hello. What do you have brewing today, good sir? What is all this? Got any specials, bro? Everyone else around here has been giving me special treatment. Got any discounts for me? L a lace sorcerer's hat. That's a <laughs> sorcerer's hat. I thought it said large. Rebellion. Does he have a piece of paper in here? There's a chest down there. Perry Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. What? Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Perry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm buying shit, I'm bro. New at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Uh, I don't know. I have not made any potions, bro. I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, Let's get you those recipes, shall we? Okay. What can I do for you today? Oh, he's got tons of stuff. What else he got? Ashwinder eggs, dug bog tongue. What in the world? Whore clump juice, lacewing flies, stench of the dead, spider fangs, leech juice, those troll bogies, ugh, mongrel fur. So, what are you giving me? Ederis Potion Recipe. It's a recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin. Okay, so it's a defensive potion. Potion. And then the Wigawow Potion. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Focus. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Thunder Brew. Oh, shit. God, there's all... There, it looks like there's stuff I haven't even, like, scratched the surface of. Okay. Who's this kid? I didn't even hear him come in. Okay, so now I need to go to the Magic Neep. <laughs> what the fuck is that? The Magic Neep. Is it this? Oh, it is. It's that place with the bugs. I think. It is, it's the place of the bugs. What the, there's sheep up here. Oh. Wait a second. Oh, dude. These chests must have to be opened by being like invisible or something because look my controller vibrates when his eye opens what the hell <laughs> how'd that sheep get down here so fast <laughs> oops chickens who the hell is this guy timothy teasdale <laughs> Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, 
are the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In ah, addition him. to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow okay. everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Okay. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Yes. Room of requirement items. Fertilizer. Oh, I wonder if, like, the room of requirement, when you find it, it, like, if they're talking about, like, conjuring furniture and stuff, like the guy said earlier, I wonder if it's, like, a room that you can just customize to be your own, like, hangout thing or something like that. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Okay. Rebellion. See, look, he's got one of these things. But that potion shop, I didn't see one. The Magic Neep Cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging customers outside the shop. So can I not go in his shop? It's a cool building. What the heck is all this? Ah. Chicken ran off. Oh, I can't go in? His place looks cool, though. Alright. Now it's time for Ollivanders. Go get my wand. What the heck? <laughs> what the hell? I didn't see that on the way past. <laughs> cool. There's like a fireworks show over there. Ollivanders was like right... It was like over here somewhere, wasn't it? What is this place? Uh, what? I can't read that. It's locked, whatever it is. What does it say? Oh, quality Quidditch supplies. Oh, there's Ollivanders right here. But what's going on up here? Wait, what is this? The three broomsticks. Oh, it's a bar. Or like a... Oh, wait, did they, like, meet here or something like that? Rebellion. All right, currently run by Serona Ryan, the, and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, the Three Broomsticks is the long-standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or fire whiskey. Or free peanuts. Yoink. Blinded me. Okay. Honey Dukes. Whoa, what the hell? Bingle and Blatch. What is this place? Oh, it's like a... Oh. It's like a clothes store. Unbeatable Quidditch gloves.
All right, enough fucking around. Ollivander's Wand Shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores. Choose their owners in this cozy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Garibald Ollivander. In the profession of wand craft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Alright. Damn, my chest already. Merlin's what? Look, there's got to be something with these globes. There's got to be. What the hell? Is this guy vaping or something? It's like Jacksepticeye. Hello? I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um... Just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Okay. Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. You might do. Let's see it. Let's see yeah. it. Yeah. Give this one a try. Hmm. Well, go ahead. Swish. Nope. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on. Really swish it. Whoa. Oh, dear. It doesn't like me, dude. It doesn't like me. That ain't it. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> That's not it. Uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Ooh, a dragon one. Let's give this one a try. That one's all jaggedy. That ring's on it. Oh, oh. Holy shit. Oh, goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <laughs> that one looked... Uh, I didn't want that one anyway. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? I Perhaps wonder. you? Uh, ah, there you are. The one yes. up high. I think you might be the one. Let's see it. Here, take it. What's it look like? This is it. What the heck? Just a twisted stick, man. Spiral ash brown. Wood type ash core unicorn hair. Flexibility reasonably supple. Whoa. Oh, wait. Can I... Curious indeed. Oh, I can just pick. Oh, I thought it was like a set one. Let's see. How intriguing. Dusty pink. Classic gray. What the heck? Curious indeed. Yeah, I don't like that one. Hmm. How intriguing. Wait, what are these ones now? Oh, holy shit. Okay. There's tons to this. Uh. Curious indeed. I like. I don't know. This one kind of maybe. Let's see here. How intriguing. 
Does the wood matter? Curious indeed. Vine. How intriguing. Does the wood matter at all? <laughs> What did this one look like? Maybe that one. Curious indeed. Hmm. Maybe that one. Too many choices, man. Actually, give me a black one. How intriguing. There we go. <laughs> I will go with that. Hazel, English oak. See, this doesn't look Curious like it indeed. changes anything. An apple. Beach. Hmm. How intriguing. You gotta be quiet for a second, man. Let me think. Silver lime. I'll do silver lime. <laughs> Curious indeed. Let's do eleven and three quarters. Swishy. How intriguing. Client. I'll just do s slightly springy, I guess. What is this now? Oh. Ah, okay. Known for producing powerful magic, consistent magic, and the phoenix that serves as a core of the one capable of producing a great range of magic. So. Maybe. A great range of magic. Maybe the dragon. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Very nice. One sec, one sec. I'm not looking anything up. <laughs> Gotta do a sun's check. So, silver lime, dragon heartstring, slightly springy, 11 3 quarters inches. Uh, what do we got? Mm. Nothing. Just Durant's not making his debut for a while. Okay. So yeah, silver lime, dragon heartstring, slightly springy, eleven and three quarters inches. Let's do it. What do you think? What does a silver lime tree look like? It likes me, dude. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a Silver bright and magical wood. future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. Nice. <laughs> and the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. I picked that it because it sounded like Mr. an Thunder. offense. <laughs> I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again if ever I can be of further assistance. What's oh, the lore everything. here? Hold on. Better go and find Sebastian. Silver lime wood wand. Let's see. I want to see what this says. Let's see. This unusual and highly attractive wand wood was highly fashionable in the 19th century. Demand outstripped supply and unscrupulous wand makers dyed substandard woods in an effort to fool purchasers into believing that they had purchased silver lime. The reasons for these wands' desirability lay not only in their unusually handsome appearance, but also because they had a reputation for performing best for seers and those skilled in legilimency. What the fuck? Mysterious arts both, which cons uh, consequently gave the professor of a silver lime wand. What the hell? Okay. 
So I guess it's... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I picked it. I like it. I'll go with it. Thanks to the wand, dude. Oh, I'm out of here. Zonkos? Isn't that the prank shop or something? Oh, here it is right here. Oh, that's where all the fireworks are coming from. Let's go see. Zonko's joke shop. Whoa! Oh, it's- I remember that thing from the movie. <laughs> it looks awesome. What the hell? What the heck? Cool. <laughs> That's like a balloon machine or some shit, I guess. What's going on here? Rebellion. Something dinged over here. Gillyweed tonic. Oh, right here. Oh, wait. Oh, frog spawn soap. What the fuck? An ambitious su surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap. Once submerged in water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatches right out of the suds. What the heck? You buying one of these, kid? Yuck. What the fuck? I'm getting away from that thing. There's Willy Wonka hats. It's got an upstairs even. Holy shit. <laughs> oh wait, I think it's that little, uh, it's that thing from like Fantastic Beasts. Tempest in a bottle. Oh, you can buy little trains. Hogwarts Expresses. What the fuck? <laughs> Getting knocked out by a telescope, I guess. Oh. Okay, that looked really cool. I mean, it did say don't push. Whoa! <laughs> What do we got here? Bewildering can of mystery. Oh shit. <laughs> like knocks me out. Blech. Cool. <laughs> Dude, I really, really like this game actually. Look at this lunatic. What the hell's wrong with him? He's like drunk. Look at him. Oh my god. Oh wait. I think the cup like attaches to his head. Rebellion. Dung bombs. A favorite among pranksters. The dung bomb produces a foul odor causing anyone in the vicinity to evacuate post haste. Right. Whoops. Wait, 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 wait. Rebellion. Oh, I thought I walked past like a thing that needed to be. Ah, uh, never mind. Who's Zonko? Let me speak to Zonko. Like money falling all over. <laughs> oh wait. What the hell? There's a homeless wizard. Whoa. Yeah, what the hell? Dude, it's a homeless wizard. No, no joke. What are you doing? Are you supposed to be behind this pillar? 
That's weird. Oh, wait, what is this? Wait, I could have... I didn't even realize <laughs> that was a door. Damn, that reaches... <laughs> that reaches far. What's up here? What is this building? It looks like maybe... Oh, is it a barber shop? Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium? What the fuck is that? Hey, no running. Slow down. Yeah, whatever. Is this a barber shop? Oh, I think it is. Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. <laughs> oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry, and I'm here thriving. Absolutely thriving. She got lunatic eyes. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Uh, no. I'm not sure what you mean, but I'm quite all right as I am. Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. Okay. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. I have a lime wood. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? Wand. You can change your hair too if you'd like. Okay. I should be going now. Thank you. Maybe another time, dude. I'm just looking around. Rebellion. Hey, what the heck? Akio. Oh, damn it. I'm taking your money, lady. Pay no mind. This two dollars is mine. All right. What? The ministry should round up all the so-called muggle balls and demand to know where they got their magic. What the fuck? <laughs> what in the hell, dude? She's like spouting it off to a student. What a mudblood shouldn't be allowed to associate with the rest of us decent fuck. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't think it'd be a dark wizard over here. That's weird. What is that bird? What the fuck is this? What is going on? What the heck? I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a deer all around here. <laughs> we know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought you could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. You guys like swallowing his tongue. I might earn a reward. Oh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Huh. Finally, I'll have enough for that wind whip. Ah, well, <laughs> not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it. As always. Wow, dude. <laughs> See, like, the, I like the, the the amount of stuff in the game. Like, it actually feels like the world's alive, pretty much. So it's not just like boring walking around and stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Can I go in this one? I can. What is this place? Oh, wait. I could have... Oh, the entrance is over there. Free tea. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a clothes shop. What the heck? Good evening, good sir. I can't talk to you, man. S 
Slytherin clothes. <laughs> Revelio. Alright, so Gladrag's Mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practice, the mannequins at uh, Gladrags, that's kind of hard to say for some reason, serve only as a means to, to display the latest in wizarding fashion. Totally missed this chest. Rebellion. What is this thing? Little monkey. Right, let me talk to this dude. Or not. I can't talk to this fella. Maybe he's for later. Honey Dukes? What is this? Scriven. Scriven Shaft? Wait, is this a cat store? Rebellion. Wait, what did I just do? No! <laughs> Not the cat, dude. <laughs> what the paper? There. Oh, it is a cat store. What the hell? These cats seem to play or stay close to Scriven Shaft's quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that entice them, or perhaps it's the treats the owner often leaves. Okay, so it's not a fucking cat store. It's a quill store. <laughs> oh, a chest. You getting gloves? Why the fuck would I be wearing gloves? <laughs> I need like new pants or something, dude. Oh, it's a post office. I'm getting nothing done. Oh, here we go. Dark Arts Cloak. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Rebellion. Magical mail. These shoots in the post office magically sort various bits of mail. The post office itself houses over 200 owls, color-coded based on how quickly a particular letter or parcel needs to be delivered. There's 200 owls in here? Oh, maybe. Oh, I mean, I might as well check these stores out over here. I'm already over here. Hey, look, a bag. Blue solar protection goggles. What is this place? Uh, steeply... What? Steeply and Dawns or something like that? Some type of... Uh, Bakery or pastry store or something. Apples, very nice. Another bag. Luxurious cloak. Rebellion. Oh, there's the paper. Tea shop decor, reflective of proprietor Miss Steeply's taste. This tea shop is awash in the pink or in the color pink and frills. A cheery uh, tinkly bell chimes whenever a customer enters. It's like every store though, with the tingly bell. Hmm, that's a weird picture. Looks very uh. They look pissed off. Very odd to have that in a place like this. It does not fit the vibe. Oh, nice. I just found like, <laughs> like dress clothes. <laughs> I could walk around in a suit like an asshole. Go check Hogs Mead. Oh, I just like crushed and missed someone's. <laughs> like smash into that chair. Oh, Honey Duke. I'm in Hogs Mead. What the fuck am I talking about? I 
think. Yeah, go in here. What are you two doing? Oh, a candy store. What the fuck? Caractacus? The candy conjurer? <laughs> what the hell? Cool. Rebellion. Nineteen, nice. Damn, look at all this stuff. Free, thank you. Dude, this place is big in here. M and M's. What the heck? Oh, I didn't read the sign. Fizzing Wisbies. Rebellion. These delicious sweets, rumored to contain billywig stings, are small sherbet balls that, when consumed, will levitate one a few inches off the ground. Wait, what are these? I missed these. Like a fudge cake thing. There's a lock. What the heck? These are like candy quills or something. Oh, cake. Cupcakes. <laughs> what, eating all their shit? <laughs> they love cotton candy. What the hell? Whoa. Whoa. I made a monster. Yeah, candy cane snake. Doxy floss, it says. Oh, what's up, dude? Yoink. Are these cigarettes? Oh. They're like monkey cookies. Okay. Oh, wait. Aren't these those things that were on the... Like the... They were eating them on like the train in one of the movies. Yeah. They, they definitely were eating these on the train. <laughs> it's gonna be an elephant. Oh, never mind. It's the train again. <laughs> oh, I thought I could do the other side and it would do something else. Weird pumpkins. What is this? Pepper imps? Whoa. I'll <laughs> burn the whole place down. Wait, there's something over here. Rebellion. Right there. Exploding bonbons. These treats explode when eaten, although they are unlikely to cause serious injury. One is advised to chew carefully. Okay, I think that's <laughs> probably enough. Oh, wait, there's a secret room. What is this? Oh, it's locked. What the hell? What do you got? Like, <laughs> it's the restricted section for the candy store. Right, let me get out of here. Now I can go talk to this dude. <laughs> I have nine potions, by the way. I have no clue where I even got them. <laughs> I forgot how to use them. I think it's down. All right, dude. I officially have all of my supplies. 
Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up Don't to. worry, dude. I already explored without you. Well, it was like an attack. There was a fucking dark wizard around here. What is that? Hey, dude, the sign said no trolls. What the fuck, man? At least it's not breaking anything. Oh, well, that was weird. Oh, just kidding. Holy shit. <laughs> Their eyes are all red. I think they're being controlled. All right, you motherfucker. Oh, that didn't fucking work, I don't think. I think I just have to dodge him. Are we weakening them at all? Keep at it. We'll wear them down eventually. Oh, I didn't hit it in time. I'm getting smashed. <laughs> Drink a potion. Oh. Yikes. What's RB on these do? Whoa. I taste them so medicine. Nicely done. Oh, I didn't realize he was. <laughs> I completely missed. Damn, he got nailed. Okay, when it's yellow, I need to... Oh, I see, I see. So I should have... I should have blocked that one with my thing. That's right, you lumbering lout. He's vultering. Do more hits, do the job. Levioso. I don't know why I'm throwing Levioso at him. Something exploded over there. Invoke ancient magic. Whoa. Goodness. Troll with the punches. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I no problem. So. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Uh, of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. I probably have to do the repair thing. Again. Okay, well, don't tell me what to fix. I just guess just fucking leave. <laughs> Here. No. Uh, hello there. Um, a moment, if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Wait. What the hell? Those boxes just like disappeared. That was really weird. Where's this paper at? There it is. Okay. I'm guessing. Repair. All right, that one's done. Damn, everywhere is fucked up. Repair. Knock this whole building down. <laughs> Can I even do this one? Oh, I can. 
Jeez. Oh, okay, they just... Oh, okay, they jump into place. Uh, oh, this right here. Lucky they didn't do more damage. The Daily Prophet. Is that what it's still called? It is. Order killed. What? Bothersome beasts. What has got into them? Yeah, some order got killed, I guess. Repair it. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. What was that noise? Revelio. Ah, oh, right here. Hengist of Woodcroft? This statue is of Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from his home by muggle prosecutors. Interesting. What are you up to now? Don't worry about it, lady. I'm fixing the town. Looks like I need to fix something else. Maybe right here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, now I can talk to the clothes guy. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Why? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls. No and problem. Not to your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, cool. <laughs> no, sure, that's too generous. Yeah, give me. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? What? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, what the hell? Traditional school robe. What's the difference? <laughs> okay. I didn't see what the difference was. Okay, your current defense and offense are displayed in the top right. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not wearing that. Oh, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, majestic school robe. Do I have enough for this? Oh, 475. Maybe that. Quidditch robe. Let's go with what I have for now. I'd say we've earned a butt of ear or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Hang on, dude. I sell even more. I sell even more. I'm not wearing that. There. So what's the difference here? Nothing. <laughs> it just has offense to it. Okay. The 
items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Thanks, dude. Let's Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Okay. Hmm. What's that about? Oh. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? Yeah, who the all fuck am I here? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <laughs> Let's go. I thought, how does he not see me? Did they see us? Maybe. I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yikes, dude. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, nice voice, dude. <laughs> now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. That is right. He Thanks didn't help at all. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. I know, didn't they read the signs? There's one outside. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <sighs> Oh shit. Nice hiding, That's fellas. You didn't even bother fucking hiding. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, sir. Oh wait, maybe he doesn't not know my worry, face. Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. Ah, uh, they My know who I am. Is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't hear me. Oh shit! It's a throwdown in the. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. <laughs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Okay. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Hang on, dude. I didn't go upstairs. We gotta check upstairs. Come on. Oh, wait. There's nothing up here. Never mind. Is there a chest? Wait, there's more up here. What the hell? Found money. more money holy crap how high up this go oh this looks like maybe is this like an where in the world
Oh, okay, I saw where I'm at. There's even more stairs. Aw. Oh. Damn. Alright, let's go. Go back to the castle. Actually, let me save. Uh, I want this one. All right. Well, where are we going? I'm certainly glad Sarona was there. What the hell? There. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arla. Yeah, it's because she I had a gang with her. Tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we could talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Okay. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Okay. Select the Hogwarts map button. Okay. Fast travel to your common room. All right. It's whale bones. That's so weird. Keep showing that point. That one. All right. Level eight. Nice. What are... Wait. I've received new owl posts. What the hell? What are these two blue... Oh, it's my uh, ancient magic or whatever the hell. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. Where are you? Thanks for the... You can't just say come and see me. I don't know where the fuck to find you at. Good thing I have a waypoint, Mr. Fig. Oh, then again, I could have just went to his office or whatever. I forgot he was a teacher. <laughs> what the heck? Rebellion. What is that? On another adventure, are what we? Do you mean to ask me? You wouldn't have an extra quill on Wait, I swear this thing was Honestly, the way some of those Slytherins fawn all over Professor Black, it's embarrassing. Even he seems irritated by What do you mean those Slytherins, dude? Aren't you in Slytherin? Oh, isn't he irritated by got called on to read out loud in history of magic the other day. Stumbled over all the words. No, oh, loser. Okay. Wait, my controller just vibrated. Oh, it's the the dumb eyeball. I thought it was something good. I mean, they could be something good. I just can't get in them. Oh, <laughs> it's like what's happening? It's like no music. What the heck? What is that? Oh, wait, actually, that that glass right there might, I think it's the Slytherin common room thing. I'm pretty sure it is. Oops. Yeah, 
That's so weird. There's no music at all. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There's a... A fast travel thing around here somewhere, I think, that I haven't got. Or something. I don't see it, though. Sir Catagon? What the hell is this guy talking? There's the music. What's your problem? Oh, she looks like she's trying to throw up. Oh, what the fuck? It was an accident. Get away from me. Whoa. You make a point. I cannot do this for all eternity. What the hell? Uh whoops. Uh, I think it's the girls' room. Do these open? What the fuck they do? Ah, I wonder if because, oh no, what the hell? <laughs> oh, what the fuck, dude? My, what a striking thing. You'll make quite the portrait one day. I wouldn't want to be hung next to you. Rebellion. Anything in this bathroom? Wait, right here, I think. Oh, whoa. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, is this Polyjuice Potion? What the fuck, dude? Okay, see, there's like a witch on the, the door. I did not expect to walk into a bathroom. How nice to see you, my young friend. Is a w okay, that was the girl's room. <laughs> there's urinals in this one. Ball. Rebellion. Oh wait, yeah, didn't they uh they brewed the polyjuice potion in the girls' bathroom or whatever? That's probably a reference to it, I would assume. Wow, dude, cool. Oh, wait, never mind. What class does he teach? What is that? Checkered, what? Checkered tail, what does that mean? I think that's what that said. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts, a fifth year if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that <clears throat> they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclim <laughs> acclimatize before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigelus Black, Headmaster. Okay. So there's the note telling to come get me or whatever. Oh, there's something over there. 45 bucks. What the hell? What am I sitting on the floor? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, dude, hang on. I gotta take a piss bad. Let me pause.
Okay, I'm back. Let me adjust my chair here. Ugh. There we go. So I plan to go like four hours, which is what I'm at now, but I'm really, really, really liking this game, so I'm gonna go longer. <laughs> Might as well just save while I'm here. Alright. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me look at challenges, see if I have any. Here we go, look. Got glasses. <laughs> Top hat, what the fuck? Zonko's. Hmm. Zonko's chief. <laughs> Prankster costume. Okay. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. Professor, you're bugging out a bit. Attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons of the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is grave news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Uh. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Okay. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. What the hell? It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it it's leads. It's bubbling. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. Oh, of course. A bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on a the map. I suspected you would see something. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. Okay. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. All right. Let's gotta go learn more defense stuff. There is a, what is that? A scroll thing down here. Oh, I think it's like the side quest. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, was that kid eavesdropping or something? Watch out, loser. Revelio. Oh, I thought there'd be... Oh, I thought there'd be something there. Actually... Lumos. Oh. I'm actually not sure where that's at. Like a weird Pegasus statue thingy or something. I really don't think I've noticed that anywhere. Where does this go? Oh. Whoa. Uh, no, I've not been over there. <laughs> That was new. I've not seen that before. My favorite room in the school is the library. It always smells like fresh hot. <laughs> Good 
goodness, look at that. What the hell? Hello, Zenobia. What did you need help with? I need someone to collect my gobstones. Yeah, so yeah, I remember. High places all over the school. The other two, I really don't think I can get the other two. Not like right now. If real fe uh, seems like they're outside and I need like a broom. <laughs> Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've mostly been to. What is over here? Revelio. What is this about with the lock on it? But then again, it, it's not like the other locks in this game. It looks like where you can actually click on them. So maybe it's just decoration or something. Wait a sec. Give me that. Meridian Black Skeleton. This large dragon skeleton that hangs in the Defense Against the Dark Arch classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after, the sing after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poaching Raid of 1878. Didn't I pick something up like that? Or no, she told me. <laughs> I think she said that. It's like I'd seen that before. Hello. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. Weird little peeper eye. As such, you are to learn Incendio, Ooh, nice. a fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. Aww. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing <clears throat> how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Okay, what am I doing here? You know where to find me once you've finished. Win two rounds of crossed wands. Complete a round of spell combination practice with Luke and Brattleby. What the fuck? Okay. Seems crossed wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. <laughs> she knows about the fighting club. Or the fight club. I don't know why I said the fighting club. What the hell? Look at this fucking painting. Uh. Rebellion. <laughs> she seems to be enjoying getting burned at the stake. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going yet. Oh, wait, is it this new? It is that new bridge. Aw. Rebellion. Nothing. over here oh, this is all new stuff what the heck Whee! what oh, oh. oh not again. <laughs> here i come from the toilet bowl where she said i could swim did you practice a mole as long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the meek. Please, please, you'll make me late. He's trying to stop me. <laughs> He's bullying some Hufflepuff kid. To trap me, confine me inside of a jar. He won't let him walk <laughs> by. He did his containment charts, so I took my revenge <laughs> to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw the contract with her, not with him. He, what is he I doing, this I poor guy? Swim. Okay, <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Came out in toilet, covered in toilet water. Oh, the, it's locked. 
Revelio. Now I need this. Haunted toilets. Unless in dire straits, it is probably best to avoid this particular toilet as it is allegedly one of Peeve's favorite pranking spots. Oh, nice. What a weird little fucking, like, hand thing. Oh, the camera's going nuts. Oh, this one. Is this the Chamber of Secrets? <laughs> like, isn't this? No, it was like, it was a sink like this, I thought. But then in the movie, I think the hallway goes like straight down. And then instead of them being along, like, along this, they're along like the side in the side. But this could be. The sink, this looks like it though. This looks like where the, the chamber would be hidden. Rebellion. Oh, right there. Lachlan the Lanky. The statue depicts the wizard Lachlan the Lanky, a tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself for <laughs> what precisely no one knows. Being tall, I guess? What's this about? Levioso. Akio. Repair. Hmm. That looks like I could target it, whatever it is. Rebellion. Gold and silk robes. Yeah, look, what the hell? What is this? Lumos. Oh, hold on, hold on. Rebellion. Okay. Map of Argyleshire. This map depicts Argyleshire, a region in Scotland which contains the hair <laughs> the Hebrides, native home of the Hebridean black dragon. But why is it colored like that? Akian. No. Levioso. No. Not sure. Glad you could make it. Lupin's just over there. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Who's saying that? Oh. <laughs> I was a <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's going on in here, fellas? Not much of a crowd. Rebellion. What's up with this door? Wait, wait, wait. My gear slots are full? Um... I guess I'll equip some cool gloves. What the hell? <laughs> I look like an asshole. <laughs> yeah, that works. Now I'll just scrap this. My offense is high, I guess. Um, <clears throat> wand handles. There, that should be illustrious emerald silk ro whoa hold on let's have a look at that one ambitious club wait what did I just pick up illustrious what oh
Well, it's green. I guess it, ma <laughs> it matches with the Slytherin stuff. Let's go with that. I mean, it's it, it matches. Let me destroy this one. What the fuck was that? Revelio. Oh. Oh, you probably have to wait. There's probably a spell that like freezes it or something. I forgot to do the goggles. Let's see, let's see. Solar protection goggles. <laughs> no. Legendary. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, I don't think I'd wear those, dude. Just give me... Here, I'm scrapping this stupid thing. I'll just do regular glasses. He looks ridiculous. Even though that is, like, legendary equipment. Nice chair stack, fellas. Hey, it's that girl. I forgot her name. She's from Uganda or whatever. Can I help you? What? With this Can little kid? You? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels across once. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, yeah, dude. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross bonds work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Sure, dude. Of course. Dueling's an entertainment. My scarf's got time. skulls on I it. I agree. Besides, in cross bonds, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Sure, ma'am. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Who's my opponent? Some Gryffindor we'll dweeb. Regret signing up. Shut up. Initiate round. What the hell is this? Uh, whoa. Okay, break through yellow shields with control spells like levitation spell. Target lock rut. Okay, let's you track enemies. Okay. Let me Oh, fuck. He's fucking up this kid in the back. <laughs> beat him up, beat him up. That's what you get for talking shit, kid. Oh, I'm out of mana or something. What the hell? Come here, you little bitch. <laughs> Get smacked. <laughs> nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. No, no, no. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. Oh, okay. And as a I was about fully to say. initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. 
Wow. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me, and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. The fighting in this game is actually really Hope good. see you back here again. Hang on, dude. I thought we were just starting the other one. Level 9. Alright, dude. Next time you need a partner for Cross Swans, don't hesitate to call on me. No problem, dude. Um. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Cross Swans all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Yeah, dude. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Uh. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Give my boy Sebastian. Ready to get thrashed? Are you? Three. Apologies in advance. Three of you. Oh fuck. Okay. Break through violet shields with force spells like summoning charms. Accio. Okay. Accio. Oh shit! That's what you get, Hector. Don't run your mouth next time. Shit! I need a potion. Oh no! Hit the wrong button! Holy shit, I'm about to die. Oh my god. Oh no! Jeez, man. That was tough. What the fuck, Lucan? You set up a 3v2, you little Bravo. shit. I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Okay. Next time, tell me that you got three fucking. For all the gobstones, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tried to scam me, dude. Okay, so his assignment is. Oh, wait, complete a round of spell combination practice with Lucan. Oh, okay. I need to do the uh, practice dummy. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all of your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay. Accio. All right. Nicely done. What's next? Let me go. Looks like you just do a big spell and then you just hit him with the auto attacks. Oh, I... Spamming too much, spamming too much. There we go. I was kind of doing that in the middle of the fight. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. Thanks, dude. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. 
You'll be a fearsome challenger now. All right. Assignment's all finished. Let's get back. Actually, probably should just, uh... Oh. Wait, who the hell is... Perhaps I should stick to potions. Seems I'm out of the tournament, thanks to you. <laughs> nice voice, dude. You could have gone a bit easier on me. Shut up, Hector. You were running your mouth. Don't talk shit next time. You asked for it, dude. Wait a second, wait a second. This flashed over here. Rebellion. Oh, I think it was just because it was glass. My life is behind me. I promise. Alright. Make my way back over there. I, st I could fast travel. I really could, but... It's just fun to see what's around. I need new shoes. Is there like vans or something in Hogwarts? I don't think so, but I would prefer that <laughs> than these dumb dress shoes. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, just break it and you can fix it. What are you doing? He did it. He did it. That kid did it. It wasn't me. I'm back, Professor. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. Yep. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. I mean, neither are fancy remember, ones, dude. Focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Okay, here we go. I almost, uh, I almost don't like having these like robes. It doesn't match the other kids in the school. Okay, you've learned enough spells that you'll need to equip Incendio to your spell set. To do this, you need to swap it with a different spell. Good work. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the repair one. So do I just... Ah, oh, okay. Hey, okay, okay, I see. Its range is short and requires you to be close to the target. This spell deals significant damage and lights certain object objects on fire. Enemies hit with fire-based attacks will continue to take damage for a few seconds, during which time collisions will result in incendiary bursts. All right, cool. There's a werewolf. Incendium. Cool, dude. Oh, I just hit this guy with it, I guess. <laughs> You're getting it. Keep at it. I let your. I do try not to incinerate yourself. I let her table on fire. Whoops. Incendium. Setting things ablaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? There. Cool. I'm assuming there's things around here that I can light on fire. Incendium. Oh, actually, that's... 
That map that was around here somewhere, that big one that I couldn't figure out what to do with, that could be something. What about this? Oh. <laughs> Oops, wrong way. See? Ah, fuck. I'm gonna... I'm switching back. I need, like, the school robes. Wait, what is this? I'm just going this for now. I, it kills my offense, but... I have my cool gloves. There, see, I, like, don't match the other... Now I match all the other kids again. Like, I don't stand out as much. What is she doing? Incendio. That didn't work. Revelio. There's a ton. I realize there's a ton of these around here. What the hell? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue Ooh, powder. Wait a second. Lumos. Where's this bug at? I didn't see where this thing's, uh... I didn't see where its mirror thing was at. <laughs> I was gonna be running around with it. I'll just let it go back. I really have no clue where it's at. Professor Fig. I'm back. <laughs> ah, there you are. Where the hell's he out? <laughs> Where is he when he's like, I have to wait for him? Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear she he's told still me you did rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Let's go, ma'am. I have work for you. Oh. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your schedule is... will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Jeez, what a dick. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Okay, well... I guess I'm going. I'll go to the restriction sec restricted section by myself. Wait. Oh, it's just okay. It's down. I was like, hold on a sec. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. I really hope this uh, waypoint. Oh yeah, the waypoint is Sebastian. Okay. What the fuck? I think that kid just like appeared in front of me. Alright, dude. What's he doing? He's like squishing bugs. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the three brooms. Oh yeah, huh? Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Um... I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, 
Why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... His voice still is so weird. Show some initiative. <laughs> Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Okay. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Oh, fuck's sake. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Oh, a snitch. What a surprise. <laughs> How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. All right. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Is it just going straight into it or what? Oh, it is. All right. Meet Sebastian in Central Hall at night. Wait, where am I? Rebellion. Wait, did something on the... Oh, no, never mind. Have I been here? I guess I've been here. I don't recognize in here, though. Maybe I haven't. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I've been See here. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I okay. Can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. Ah, oh, this will give me pass out chests to too. Turn invisible. Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Give it a try. That went fast. Okay, disillusionment. I think I need... Okay. So... Wait, that's Lumos. Where the fuck's disillusionment? There it is. I'm gonna put it on Lumos for now. All right, let's go, ma'am. <laughs> Nearby adversaries will sense. Okay, when it turns yellow. Okay. Jeez. How long does this last? I'm gonna go in here. I don't know how long this lasts for. I'm gonna stand and wait until it like runs out or something. If it runs out. Oh, wait, actually, it looks like a lot. It goes for a long time. Okay, that goes for a long time. Whoop. I didn't think they would actually like freak out on the door. <laughs> oh, past the librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. What bookcase? Oh, over here. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? Mm -hmm. The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now. 
Here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Okay. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Am I invisible again? Jeez. What do you mean, is someone? The key. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> what? It's a monster explosion. Yikes. Wait, can she see me or no? Or right, she can kind of see me. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book. Alright. Here we go. Revenue. What the hell? Oh, there's a chest. Loosened black and white pinstripe scarf. Let's have a look here. Ooh. I'll swear that one, I guess. All right. What the hell is that? Eh. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. Okay. Revenue. Okay. Basic cast. Okay. Use basic cast while undetected to lure authority figures and enemies to a desired location. A mode grants position target. Okay. So I distract him with my just like ghost auto attack. Yeah, I see you. Ghost. All right. Where's this ghost? Oh, right there. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That noise, Jesus. Look at that werewolf painting. That's actually kind of cool. Oh, fuck. Sebash, you're blocking me. Gotta get out the way. Quick, get down here. Come on. Should be in the clear. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. What's wrong with her? Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I what are you doing? On my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Revelio. Whoa, hold up. Field guide page. Enchanted books. Best to avoid these books if possible. Do not <coughs> as much... <laughs> to their tendency to fly from one's hands as to their content being spectacular drivel of no educational value whatsoever. Jesus, that was a chore to read.
Brown Eye of Newt goggles again. Hmm. Rebellion. <laughs> yeah, look at this picture. <laughs> that looks like that creature guy. From uh the later movies. Oh, oh, it's fucking chests. Nice. Wait. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. <laughs> it's so weird you can just spin those. I don't know why. Rebellion. What is down here? What is all this stuff? There's stuff breaking. Hmm, there's globes all over the place. What? What did I just get? Oh, okay. It's like, what the hell? I just said I got like a sword or something. Yeah, look, what the hell? Oh, wait, wand handles. Never mind. I didn't realize I had these. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna equip one of those because I really had no clue. Quests, what the hell? Oh. I had no idea I had those. Okay, sure. I mean, it fits my house at least, so. Let me also. Aw. Who have we here? Oh, no. <laughs> Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Shut up, Peeves. You... Oh, no. You'll get caught. Peeves, don't you. I don't <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Great. Now what? Oh, blasted peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Um. Uh, can I trust you? I trust him. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Oh, yeah. No, not that. I need this. Repair it. Rebellion. Man, how far down does this go? Hmm. Do these incendiary? Oh, I thought they'd be like, um... Of course. Traces of ancient magic. Oh, yeah, here we go. 
must be more to this room. Lumos. I need some light. I can see a fucking thing. One of these portals again. Where the hell is this going? Where the hell am I? There's like some girl breathing. Enter the Athen Athenaeum? The Athenaeum? Hat. Where might this lead? To the Athenium, of course. Don't know what that is. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I almost walked off the edge, I think. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Okay, what do I just shoot it? Uh oh, I think I'm gonna have to fight something in here. Yep, here we go. Not surprising. Cards of the Whoa. Okay. I don't know if I just like wasted that completely or. Uh, I think I just wasted it completely. Okay. Your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Successfully 10 hit combo. Oh, successful 10 hit combos will begin generating. Oh, okay. It just, yeah, it generates over time. Wait. Collecting these. Oh, okay. And you can get health too. Right. Yeah, I think I wasted them. Nope. Oh, he... I think they just fell to their deaths. <laughs> hmm. Whoops. Glasses all suck. What the hell? That look dumb. <laughs> like, look at this. Hello. <laughs> oh my god. Can I like just do my normal glasses? There. <laughs> oh wait, what's outfit again?
hats. I don't know if I want to wear one. <laughs> I like a bit. I don't know. I haven't found a hat that I like actually, so I shall skip them. I know they give like bonuses and stuff, but I don't like the aesthetic here with the hats. Oh my god. Oh no. I forgot I can run. <laughs> there we go. I forgot I could run. I mean, he moves kind of fast enough. I just forgot it was there. This must be the way forward, but to where? And no shit. Um. I need to get closer. Nope. What's that? I wonder. There we go, okay. Oh, I thought those would be booby trap ones. God, I'm not wearing that. I'm not wearing that. <laughs> Why would I ever wear like a weird, like metal face mask thing? It's very weird. some stuff wait a sec change appearance wait do I still get to keep the same like buffs or whatever oh that's okay that's weird uh, if that's the case, I'll equip that and then change its appearance to the glasses again. That's so, that's weird. Change appearance, hood on, hood off. Oh. Well, what the hell? I didn't know that. <laughs> That works then, I guess. And I'll just put that on and then make it look like the school robes. What the hell? <laughs> That's so weird. Wait, can I just like... Oh, I can... so I can just put a hat on. Put the hat on and just change the appearance to not having a hat. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool then, I guess. Let me just make it look like I don't have a scarf. <laughs> there. 
cool. Uh, wait, did I even get rid of anything? My gear slots are full. I was trying to get... Wait, what the hell? I was trying to get rid of stuff. Oh, here, here, here. Really stupid glasses. There. Oh, a competitive school robe. <laughs> and this is a patchwork hat. I think all shit that I can basically just get rid of. Because this hat is not as good as this hat. There. I'm saving. So I have to do all that again. Alright. Oh, I have to fight a bunch of people, it looks like. Or, they're not people. that I'm falling off shit oh my god I'm fucking up bad oh my god I'm doing terribly There. Jeez, that was sloppy. So sloppy. Oh, look, it's another, uh... It is a book after all. Oh. Wait, I thought it was a pensive thing or whatever. Pestle. Pestle. That's what it is. Oh, it is still one of those. Oh yeah, it's these guys. Or the guy. I don't recognize the two on the right.
Wanted to see me? Headmistress Fitzgerald. Isidora? Professor Rackham. Miss Isidora Morganach. Welcome. Professor Rookwood. Professor Bacar. Rockwood. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As oh, well, well, well. I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. Oh, wait, so this fat guy is the rock the we got. This powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not. He probably speak betrays to people or something. Discussed here today. Or this is like the guy's dad or some shit. Uh, nice smirk on your face, dude. Okay, it's easy, Dora. Sebastian. Oh no. Sneaking in the restricted section again. I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. No, Peeves is a that snitch. Being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're mm. a bright boy. Don't waste this. Is he a rat, perhaps? There was nobody else. Nah, he's solid. He's solid. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Man, fuck off, Peeves. You freak. Whoa. Alright, level 10. They're just gonna, like, leave, I guess. Rebellion. Oh, hold up. Off on another adventure, are we? All right, I'm gonna go back to this guy's classroom, and then I think after whatever he says, I may call it good for tonight. Wait a sec. Oh. Okay. Interesting, so there's only been... I'm the third student, I guess, that showed up in their fifth year. Cause it's like that headmaster guy and then this Isidora girl. And then me. What the hell? Whoa, I didn't realize that wall was moving. So you like notice something every time you like walk through these this place. Oh, I was like <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with this door? Professor, Professor! Oh, he's way far away. I am completely out of potions, though, unfortunately. Whoa, whoa, 
Whoa. Oh, there. That way. But this game, I really like this game, actually. It's really, really good. Professor! Quest begin? Uh, actually, I'm just gonna save. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I wanna start a new quest. Alright, let's see. How long did they go for? Five and a half hours. Not bad. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm gonna play this too, so. Uh, maybe for the same amount of time. I don't know. Because I it's it's a really good game. I really like it. Yeah. But uh I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm gonna call it good for tonight. So yeah, that's it. See you later.